I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats at Smithy TV in downtown Toronto. I'm here with Sergio Navarretta and Brooke Paulson. Tell me a little bit about what it was like shooting in Niagara for your feature film, The Colossal Failure of the Modern Relationship. That's a mouthful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> um, I, I loved shooting in Niagara in, in wine country. It, it's an area that I was always sort of enamored by and mm -hmm. such a beautiful, romantic place. And I was always surprised at uh, how few movies have been shot there. Mm -hmm. So we had this wacky relationship movie that we were developing and we thought, you know, um, why not set it in Niagara wine country? Totally. Yeah, so it was great. Yeah, it was absolutely stunning. I'm from Winnipeg, so everything's pretty much flat, but to be in a <laughs> landscape kind of like that, it was pretty incredible, yeah. And the title, The Colossal Failure of the Modern Relationship, I can relate to that, as can, I'm sure, many people. Um, <laughs> why do you think that modern relationships fail so much, or am I totally off base asking that question? Well, that was the initial the impetus for the film and, and the actual thesis of it without getting too serious because it is absolutely a comedy and it's wacky in many ways. Um, it just dealt with the state of modern relationships, how uh, traditionally we're taught by religion and by values that you know, you're supposed to meet one person and stay with them forever. Mm -hmm. And I just started to think the older I got, the more I realized that there is no guarantee and relationships maybe are just simply chapters in one's life. And this movie happens to be uh, the chapter in one couple's life. So it's not really a statement, it's not a universal statement on all relationships, but specifically about this one relationship. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. yeah, it was interesting just uh, like being on set and listening to all the cast, you know, hash it out over their old stories of different <laughs> relationships they'd been in. And uh, I definitely think that there is less of a societal pressure to stay with one person for the rest of your life. I think people are more open-minded to the concept that that might not be very realistic. So I liked the film because I think it took a very realistic approach on uh, love and I don't think too many uh, titles do that. So, Absolutely. yeah. And I saw on your Facebook page you had it described as a foodie movie in one post. So, can, like, can we see lots of good looking food in the movie or, you know, obviously it's in wine country, so. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think food and wine mm -hmm. is a great metaphor for relationships, love, and, and sex. So I think when you have a movie that has all that, uh, I think it's, um, I, I think it's a tool to kind of draw people in. And mm -hmm. I think, um, you know, culinary arts is definitely a very kind of sensual thing, mm -hmm. eating and preparing food. So yeah. Totally. And Brooke, tell me a little bit about your character in the film. Uh, Amy is a lot of fun. <laughs> She can be very bubbly, uh, an ex-stripper, but uh, <laughs> she's a lot of fun to play. Um, and uh, seemingly, you know, I think when people usually have a bubbly exterior, people think there might not be much substance behind it, but she is very much the heart and the soul of uh, a lot of the project. So a really amazing character to play. Uh, it's funny, my sister is really trying to get me into reading more books. And I'm like, well, I read enough scripts. It's okay. It counts. <laughs> yeah. And uh, she asked, what's the best thing you've read lately? And I said, you know what? It was probably the script, which I read a year ago. Aww. And uh, <laughs> I told you that last week, but it's Thanks. true. And <laughs> this is a moment. <laughs> <laughs> but it really is true. Like, uh, I think every character had such uh, depth and uh, a lot of layers, which you don't always see. Usually there's one tone to uh, a lot of the like less uh, involved characters, but everyone seemed to have a story, and it was, it was pretty amazing, yeah. And what's next for the film? What, where can we see it, and where can we find out more information? Um, what's next for the film is we're, we're just sort of finishing up. We have a few more things to shoot. Um, we're very much into post-production right now at Deluxe. And working with Sound Dogs on the Sound and uh, my composer Angelo Audi and uh, just kind of working on that those stages of, of the movie and then planning out our, our festival, um, you know, game plan. Game plan, yeah. yeah. Plan of attack. That's like yeah, it's like almost it's harder to do that than actually make the movie, yeah. which is cool. And Brooke, can we follow you somewhere online on Twitter, perhaps? Yeah, absolutely. I'm just at Brooke Paulson, and uh, you can also follow my music on brookpaulson.com and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Congratulations. I'll be checking out the Facebook page for more and details. Twitter, and Twitter. Which I don't use often, but yeah. I think I'm like old. I'm still like the Facebook guy. I, I still don't really get, like, <laughs> I don't even really get Twitter. I'm, yeah. I'm trying yeah. to get on the bandwagon, but. <laughs>
<laughs> All right. Well, thank you, thank so, you so much, much, guys, and best of luck with the film. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Katie Ellman reporting for Katie Chats in downtown Toronto. Lovely.